I'm bringing y'all along to Hobby Lobby with me. Not exactly. I don't actually know if I'm going to uh, video in there or not. But basically what I'm going to be doing is making a um, music box for my best friend. And yeah, I'm going to go get a box today, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, well, Hobby Lobby didn't have any. Well, they did. It's just the box that um, they had was like, it would have fit in there, the chip would have, but it, um, it would have been really snug. And I think I want to get something a bit bigger. So we're at Michael's. See you in a bit. Okay, I forgot to uh, video this part, but I did get a box. It's nothing special, just um, from Joanne's. And yeah, it's a. Uh, it's pretty much the exact one that I want. Um, hold on. So if you open it, it's just, yeah, so we're going to use this. I'm going to like map out, I'm definitely going to do the one where the BTS is like inside the wood, but uh, the recording chips are on their way, so definitely going to paint it before then, but Slight change in plans, I think. This is just like a paper test run. Um, Printing it out to see how big I needed it. And obviously, this is a little too big. I'm going to make it a little smaller when I do the sticker. Um, and cut it neater. But I originally was going to have it like this. Like with the picture on the outside. And then open it. Put the logo here. But I'm thinking I'm going to change it. So have the logo on the outside right here. And then put the sticker right there. So when she opens it, they'll be there. And then like the chip will be down here. And I might put like the, um, if I have room, I'll paint on the uh, fan logo or whatever. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I didn't think about doing this, but I put it in here and like, it just looks better. So yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Okay. So this is what we're doing. I'm about to paint all this, but before I do that, I want to draw out the logos, um, like the fan logo and the normal BTS one. And normally I would just like freehand this, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so, um, yeah, if I mess up on wood, it's gonna be hard to erase. And like, honestly, I'm probably still gonna mess up because, you know. I mess up on things, but it'll be easier just to trace it. And no, their logo is not that hard to do, but <laughs> we're gonna do this anyway. Um, I try to keep it in frame, but this is already one. Like, just I'm trying to get it closer to uh, the edge because the chip I think might go like really close to this. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, and just my nails are bad, I know. Um, it's kind of hard to do it with this box because it's, it's so, uh, small and compact and stuff, but we'll give it a try.
and I'm not trying to do this like dark or anything um because I am going it over it in white paint and I don't want it to show up oh, shit. I like the parts if I mess up like that it's really fine because um The rest of this box is going to be black. So. It'll definitely cover it up. Um, yeah, so it'll be fine. And just going over my. Alright, well. Listen, it's not perfect, um, but that's okay. Okay, like that. I don't actually even know how far apart these, uh, these two are supposed to be. But we're just gonna, like, guesstimate because, again, it's just my friend. It's not like it has to be perfect. Um, she doesn't even know I'm doing this, so. And like, I'm, I'm struggling doing this. I'm doing an Astro one for myself. So, if any of you know what Astro's logo looks like, yeah, pray for me, guys. <laughs> um, So it's just like that um yeah like i said it's not perfect but i'll do it better once i um paint it and i have um i'll show you later what i'm gonna like use for the paint and everything so that's what it's gonna look like for that and then i'm gonna close it and we're gonna do the actual bts see i was gonna put like bts on it but sorry i know you can hear my dog um there's people working outside of my house right now for some reason but anyways um i'll try to talk over here uh yeah so i was gonna put bts under this but um i just thought it looked better like this so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna try to center this, but like, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Dog center to me. There it goes. And so, this is easier to do it like this because. There's no box stopping me. As I say, it's easy to mess up. It's fine. Okay. Again, I don't know how far apart these are supposed to be, but... It's fine. Yeah, it would have been smart for me to use a ruler, but... Whatever. I'm going to make 
portion is fine. That's what it looks like. Um, okay, and then um, hold on, let me just look at it. Does that look like it? It doesn't actually. It's a little too far over. Um, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna redo this. Hold on. Yeah, I was about to move, but I'll just do this here. I'm using this. Um, for just for the logos because I'm really bad at painting and this will help a lot um I'm probably starting to mess up but oh well we'll we'll deal with it um so it is a paint pen marker and this one's specifically made for wood um I got it at Joanne uh before you use this make sure you like push it on paper or whatever before to get all of it out um and then do it you will just excuse the astro all right let me try this it's gonna be difficult in here but see the um the uh lines from the pencil but that's okay I'm just I'll probably just uh Sorry if you hate that sound. <laughs> I'll probably just go like over in black so you can't see it and just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, um, I'll come back whenever I'm finished with this. first just because I'll be able to do the outside at the same time while this dries um, I'm just again I don't know if I mentioned it but I'm just using acrylic paint uh, you can use whatever you want I guess I don't know what paint is good for wood but this is what I'm using and I, I just I like acrylic paint because it dries easy I mean fast um so there's that
And then once I get to like the parts that are about the logos and stuff, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Um, also, if you don't have like brushes, do not go out and buy like expensive ones for this. Um, you can, I like my brushes, um, well, these are a little bit more money, but, um, that's just because I'm not going to paint, not because I bought it for this. Um, if you're just getting paint brushes for this, you can buy, like, a, um, a value pack for like a couple of dollars honestly you not need anything expensive unless you absolutely want it like we had paintbrushes lying around my house that I could have used honestly but I already have paintbrushes so Oh, this. Um, I am painting the whole thing black, so don't worry about the walls. I'm gonna get to that later. Um, I'm just trying to get the majority of this painted, and like this part at the bottom here, I'm not too worried how it looks. Because the chip is going to take up most of this space. Um, so you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But. Try to get. As much as I can. I will fast forward this and come back when I'm finished. Alright, so that's dry. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do this part first because it's rather difficult to do the other part first. Try not to mess up. Um, basically what I'm doing, I'm trying to just get, like, all the excess out so I don't get it all over the white. Um, but I do like how this is turning out a lot. So, it's going, it's going well. Surprisingly well, which means I'll probably mess up at some point. Um, I really am like, when it comes to painting, I'm so bad at it. It is my kryptonite. I'm fine at drawing. Like, I'll admit, I'm a good drawer. But painting is not my forte. Kudos to everyone that can do it. Um, bam. I'm trying. I follow this girl on YouTube that does like tutorials and stuff. So. I'm trying to copy her with <laughs> some of the tutorials and um, it's turned out really bad, which is fine. Like I'm learning, but um, yeah, 
it's so bad. I'll definitely like in the future show y'all me painting. Just to show y'all how truly how bad I am. Maybe it'll be like a really bad tutorial video. So we can make terrible art together. Um and yeah, I'm just like you can use a smaller brush if you want. I definitely have some more brushes, it's just I'm not patient enough for all that. I'm trying to do all this while my family is at home. So they don't distract me. And they're all um, fishing at the moment. So I thought this would be a perfect time to get all this done. Just me and my dog here, chilling. Um, I'll finish this and then show y'all when it's finished. Alright, so I finished around there and all the uh, crimsons and stuff. So now I'm just going back over. No, I'm going back over. Now I'm going over the rest of it. Um, just up and down strokes. Uh, it took it took some time to do. I won't lie. Um, but it's actually turning out surprisingly well, and. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, we'll see when I'm done painting. If everything continues to go well or not. Um, if you do get some paint on the hinges it's okay it really is you could probably wipe it off honestly um but i think i am gonna go back over the white just in that paint pen again make it a little darker but other than that it turned out fine We're gonna be doing this today. Um, I'll show y'all how to do it if I can figure it out myself. Um, but all the instructions should be in the bag. So see, this is this is just how big it is, um, and let me take this too. The bottom is like adhesive, so when you go to stick it on, uh, you can just stick it from that. Um. Okay, I figured it out. Basically, once you plug in the thing to your computer with the cord that it gives you, make sure it's, um, it is charged all the way. It should have a green light. You turn it on. It's going to have all the instructions here, so don't worry. And make sure the 
song that you're gonna do um she won't spring day uh that's her favorite song um it's an mp3 download because it's the only way it work and then you're gonna need to delete all the recordings that are already on the external drive and then you're gonna take the one that you want and put it to that drive. I think I figured it out. <laughs> um, it took a while, but if you're on a Mac, you need to make sure you empty your trash like on the Mac too, because it'll still be there. And then you just, if it's not an MP3, you just look it up on Google. You can find them. And um, you have to put it to like two minutes, 120 seconds or less before it's going to work. Um, and then you just drag it to the Dropbox and there it is. It is, it should be working. Um, I am going to take it off of my computer and test it out for a few seconds um hopefully it works let's try this again or not oh okay sorry i'm not gonna play it all because i don't want to get copyright <laughs> but it does work and it didn't work on the first time I turned it on but you know, that's okay it at least it works and yeah so that's what you gotta do for that it's really simple once you figure it out this does have the adhesive back right here so you just pull it off and put it on your thing um Alright, so we're gonna print the pictures now. Um, this is the one that she wants for. That's her favorite picture of them. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do for that. Um, I'm doing glossy paper. So make sure when you're doing this, if you have the have an Epson Eco Tank. And you're using that, make sure you change the media type to the the paper that you want. Um, yeah, and as for the other stickers, this one's for mine. And then the other two, I just wanted to print out because the blue flame one is my favorite. And this one I think it was just chef's kiss. So, um, these are the ones we're going to print out for that. And, um... I will show you after it gets printed out and everything. Alright, so they came out great. Um, you can use whatever you want. I just use glossy because I don't actually know how to put the matte um, option on, on my iPad. And I'd have to do it on my computer and I didn't feel like doing that. But they came out nice. Um... So I'm just going to cut them with just like normal scissors uh, because I don't have anything else. I'm going to have to do this really slowly so I won't video that because it's going to take a long time. Um, I'll just come back whenever I'm putting it on the boxes. Alright, so that's what it is by the way it's finished. Um, okay, so this is going to go at the bottom. Like right here, it does cover some of that, but that's okay. Honestly, 
I just don't want this to be blank. And I didn't want to put this in the center. Um, actually, it might not cover if I can get it all the way. But I am going to have to turn it this way. Like this. Because this is where the charger is. Um, with this. So you have to plug that into there to charge it. And you do have to recharge this um, at some point. Once it uh, dies. And... This part right here is the light sensor. So I am going to undo this. So just be aware of that when. When you're putting this in. Okay, press that down. All right, and I'm just gonna put that there. All right, stick that off. Now, I'm gonna try to center it. The only thing with this one, I'm not sure how well it adheres to. Wood, but hopefully it stays. I've never tested it on wood before. Um, just like flat bottles and stuff. But that's what it looks like. Um. So it didn't block that, by the way. Um, and I will do a full reveal. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. Um, this... <laughs> This was fun, I'm not going to lie. I like doing uh, DIY stuff. And, um, yeah, it was, I enjoyed it. If any of you decide to do it yourselves, um, based on the one I did, please tag me in it. I would love to see it, um, how yours turns out and everything. Um, I'll link my personal and my art slash etsy um instagram accounts on in the description so yeah just let me know and tag me i'd love to see it all right thanks guys